kind of makes it look a little more modern. Right, that's even stronger. I this like this a lot. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. I'm an art advisor and a producer. We have been invited to have a special trip. We are going to have a sightseeing in different locations where pandas live. These sightseeing will be integrated into our design. We will design a new panda image to let the world know about the innovative and changing China. China's environment protection, the art sector, technology, and the generation of young people are all changing rapidly. I believe that we will be able to capture the essence of the Chinese dog. We will be inspired by the image of the Chinese dog. We will represent an aspect of creative China. My name is Vahid. I'm Gao Ying. I'm Che Shilong. My name is Wang Tianshi. My name is Angelina. My name is Alan Skowaski. I'm Xu Junru. With the rapid development of China, the young generation are gradually turning from the followers into innovators. The new image of the giant panda is bound to embody the character of youth. The final station of our designers will go deep into the life of youth and feel the vigor and vitality of China. Since ancient times, Sichuan has been reputed as the land of abundance. The advantaged environment enables young people to pursue a higher quality of lifestyle. The ubiquitous panda and bamboo elements in city remind designers of the connection between youth and pandas. We first opened in 2006, but it's a traditional way of uh, operation of a bookstore. But as the time changed, we see there is a market and a chain for the cultural demand that not only for book, but actually a lifestyle. So this is what we become. I see. It's this uh, round grass bamboo atrium that is not only a bookshelf, but a Chinese traditional tea set and vessel. And you can see there's a bamboo inside that simplifies the Asian China as, and also the character of Sichuan. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We even have some uh, music life and some saloon and some teaching course like the cooking and the uh, handmade course very for, for, mm. for many even people. Even different yes. workshops. Yes, very diverse. You said that you have some stages for live music? Yes. Very good. Yes, this is a multifunctional area. <laughs> Not only surrounded by bookshelf, as you have noticed that behind that is our cafe area, mm. and that space, oh, you will not expect that a hair salon <laughs> yeah. in the bookstore. And further around is for the children. You imagine a weekend that the parent bring their child in here, and the mother wants to do a haircut, and the father wants to take a coffee, read some book, and their children can play in the, uh, our kid area. Everybody is satisfied. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you can have your thought inspired, yeah. fostered, yes. your hair trimmed, yes. and your stomach full. <laughs> yes, exactly. Actually, we can see that the demand for books and books is not only a demand for books, but it is a demand for the future of the future. Well, it shows that it's it's a multilateral growth, which is happening in China. It's covering different fields at the same time: technological, scientific, agricultural even some zoologists. The most important part to me, media, which can cover the accomplishment and achievements of all of them. It's a good news. Mm.
我觉得变化还是挺大的，因为中国发展的太快了，就整个的跨时代的发展，包括科技的发展，包括人们生活物质上的发展，这些发展其实带动了这个民族精气神上的一个变化。然后我们希望它，呃，呈现出来的这种整个状态呢，它会是呃阳光，然后勇敢，呃有坚毅，它有自己的一些品格，会希望它是一个这种呃年轻的一个状态。正好也其实符合我们现在这个中国的新新青年的这样的一种品质。The Yellow River has nurtured the Chinese civilization and created the unique culture and customs of Gansu. Gansu is a fusion of ethnic minorities. Young people of different ethnic groups have worked hard for a better life, presenting a unique charm of youth. So here it is, the water well. Wow, so huge. Yes. When was it constructed? It's in the Ming Dynasty. This one? No, <laughs> there are replicas. Obviously, because it's made from wooden, right? Right, it's a brand new one. <laughs> so the first one is uh, invented by Duan Xu. And he's from Ming Dynasty. And in south of China, they use a lot of uh, water wheels there. He bring the, uh, this technology back to Gansu. And then he built one of the water wheels here. After that, the farmer here, they built hundreds of these water wheels to help them draw the water from the Yellow River to irrigate their farmland. But nowadays we almost can't see this kind of yeah, water the, wheels. Yeah, you can only see this in this park. Yeah. And they use something more technology to draw the water. Yeah. But still they use this water from the Kuanghe River yes, to yes, irrigate the fields, right? Right, right. The Yellow River still is our mother river, so we're still using this water to yeah, irrigate our farm. And I think this is kind of like fit their uh, the Lanzhou's people or Gansu people, their personality. Yeah. It's really huge here. The structure yeah. is so so simple, but it's very, really practical. It is the, very practical. Yeah. Actually, it's not the first time I saw water wheels, but I've never saw this kind of huge <laughs> when water is falling down from these water wheels. It gives this, all these uh, sparkling, sparkling uh, water drops, and it's really beautiful. Russian girl. <laughs> I'm designing a character representing myself, representing most of the newer generation of Chinese people. It has to be uh, following the time, develop as well. So our panda design have the original taste. At the same time, also have this kind of like modernized or high tech feeling mix into this character. <笑>终于到了我们最期待的环节咱们这条夜市的名字呢叫做蓝关民族工业一条街为什么要叫这个名字呢是因为咱们这边汇聚了各个民族的小吃主要是以回族为主还有维吾尔族藏族咱们甘
Jianji's rich historical sites are constantly being discovered and studied. The young people here stand at the crossroads of history and become the inheritors of traditional culture. These cultures are constantly revitalized through their persistence and innovation. So 从古代然后突然窜到现代的感觉刚才提到了这块的雕塑有很多唐朝的名人我们看最有代表性的李白大诗人都知道吧所以唐朝来讲呢诗歌也是他的一个特别大的文艺的象征古今结合的内容这些不同的一些文化特点有这些传统的东西它还变级了和糖这个字有关的商户音乐厅还有什么剧院啊都在那里然后也能吸引到很多年轻人去观赏游玩就有一点像融入到历史中的感觉it kind of also utilizes new technology in these beautiful lights that are in the trees where those lights used to be lit by fires now they're lit by electricity so it's fun to experience these kind of new wonders that the world has for us to offer and that public square is kind of a place in which uh, the public can interact in large groups and to be together with each other. The designers have traveled all the way from where the pandas live and experienced the innovative changes in China. In their minds, the face of Creative China has taken shape. While the design is still continuing, let's wait and see how they design the iconic and creative international images of pandas.